What's good, Ghost Gang? This your boy, Ghost Fighter 2Ts, back with another epic video, man. I haven't put one together, but uh, till now, I could have did a lot of car videos. If you look across my channel, you will find that I have uh, a lot of uh, car stuff that's related to my car. Um, today, I got my lovely daughter uh, with me to help me record. So I'm going to show you the first initial thing that is still up to date from cars that are using it now. And that's the push button start. And I'm going to go ahead and do it really quick because it's hot in my car. So push button start here. You put your foot on the brake. One button. And it starts right up. Now you can see my car after being a 2009 has 149,000 miles on it. She's still running strong. The only thing as of right now that's wrong with my car is my air light is on for my tires and that's only because I'm running a 20 inch tire and I haven't got the sensor reset. I've been too lazy to mess with it. But here nor there, there you have it. Let me turn the AC down because I know that always goes really loud inside of the camera. Um, so that's the push button start. That's one of the things that's still a feature that cars are using today. Even in the 2020 Nissan Maxima, they are still using, yep, right there, the push button start and the keyless entry which i don't necessarily need to show you my keys but you basically just put them in your pocket anytime you're anywhere detected in the inside of this car in the trunk it will start the car on the other hand the new technology they're still using to this day if i lock my car like this and i got out of it and close the door it will pop all my doors in my trunk open so that is a feature they're still using it today even though this is a 2009 model um they're still using uh, all the way up to 16, they're still using a 3.5 liter uh, motor in these cars. And I'm going to show you uh, just why in a minute uh, how nice my sound. I have a little bit of customization done to my exhaust. Um, I got 3 inch exhaust on mine. But I'm going to do a startup and you guys are going to be able to hear that. I'll be right back. I just want to see how this video goes and if it goes good thank you baby if it goes good then you know we'll get on to another part of it so i'll be pausing it again and i'll be showing you next uh how the gearing works and why this car is still in 2020 uh 2020 is still uh got great performance it does good for uh being a 2009 it's got over 300 horsepower uh, I did some modifications to the intake and to the exhaust, as you can see, to give it a little bit more pep. Um, we'll be right back with the next part. All right, Ghost Gang. So we're back with the next part. And what I'll be showing you is uh, some different ranges of how uh, a CVT uh, works uh, properly. So what I, what I will do is uh, get out in traffic. What I'll do is, right, right now, if I just kept my foot down on the gas, if you see that it doesn't go down, the dial doesn't change gear. So it's one gear. Now, when I don't have my foot on the gas, it'll just stay in between the 2 and 1,000 RPM. Now, what I can do is, right here, I can slap it over here, and it goes into a performance mode, and it, it'll mimic... See, it'll it'll mimic a, a, a auto, a automatic car with the gearing in it. And as I slow down and pick up speed, and if I come down to a lower stop, and then I pick up speed when I go, it, see it'll 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 see how the gearing goes down. It'll mimic as if it's an auto car. Or I could put it in sport mode, and you see I'm cruising around. I'm cruising around 40 mile an hour. And let's just say that a V8 
charger wants to pull up and try me. I can literally, while I'm cruising at 40 mile an hour, now there's no automatic cars and no stick shift cars that you can dump the clutch into to one. I've owned manual and automatics. The CVT, the reigning CVT, this is the Nissan is the best CVT in the market. It is the only one that can do this. I'm going about 40 mile an hour. I can dump it to one and take off. You can't do that in any other car. Nissan is the only one that's perfected the CVT, man. Not to include, uh, not to include it has that the, the power, over 300 horsepower. Um, now, what I will say is most of the newer cars are coming either with a lot of horsepower and a big motor, or they're coming with, um, it's what you call, here baby, you can take the camera back. I just wanted to show you guys that. That's Now, what I will tell you about that mode and how I did that, I raced one of my buddies who had a G37, and um, I, he, he thought that he was going to blow me out the water, and I did that to him and dumped it down and took off. He was like, holy smokes, what did you do? Like, what happened? You took off on my car. Like, I don't know if it's my mode I'm in or what's going on. He's making all kinds of excuses. I smoked him. And then the second time he raced me, we both were like from a 40 roll. I still dumped it like I did, but he was in his uh, Taptronic mode that he had also. Uh, but that transmission is not CVT. That transmission is actually like a twin uh, uh, puck plate in his car so his transmission is definitely faster in the long run in my car but when we took off we took off from a road like that from a dig on the highway and, and he kept me by 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 you know somewhat of a, of a probably about two bumpers two car bumpers he had me by the whole time nothing else nothing more and that was the basically the end of the race we did about seven or eight pulls and it resulted in the same thing so that should tell you how strong this car is I wanted to do a vlog for you guys, put something together for you guys, um, and uh, show you what this uh, car is about and uh, what the car is capable of doing. I'll show you maybe a couple views uh, on the outside of the car, what my car looked like, because I had people that's uh, new subscribers and old subscribers that asked me in the past, hey man, won't you do a walk around of your car and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll do that. And um, 